Hello everybody! Have you heard about man marking? It allows you to target and destroy your opponent's best player. Wanna hear more about it? Let's dive in! Hello boys and girls, I'm Uncle Mish and this is everything you need to know about man marking. We'll talk about what's man marking, some pros and cons, tips how to man mark properly and what to do when you are being man marked. I will leave timestamps in the description below so you can just dive in and check something that's more interesting to you. So let's start some history. The idea was first suggested back in 2006 by a manager called BZ10 and a lot of his suggestions actually were implemented in this iteration of man marking. So man marking, it's an individual order allowing you to target one star player of your opponent. After you do it, it can't be changed by uh, the duration of the match. It could be done by one player from your, your team on another player of your opponent. The man being man marked will uh, lose some contribution of his playmaking, winger, passing and scoring and the man marker will lose also defending, playmaking, winger, passing and and scoring. Man marker penalties are 50% if he's targeting someone is in his own sector and 65% if he's targeting someone in another sector and we'll talk about the sectors in a moment. If man marking is not applied, your player will still lose 10% of his skill contributions. Powerful players and speckless players man mark better, while technical players suffer more from being the target. Uh, unpredictable players suffer a bit less. All skills for the calculation are modified first by form, stamina, experience, loyalty, mother club, bonus, health and weather averts if they occur. So about the sectors. If you are uh, man marking someone in the own sector, his uh, contribution penalty will be less. Center defender, if he will man mark a forward, he will lose only 50% of his contribution. If he'll man mark someone in another sector like a winger or or an uh, inner midfielder, uh, the man marker will lose 65% of his skills. On the same scale, win back, if he'll target a winger, no matter which side of the field he is playing, he will lose only 50% of his skill contribution, while targeting someone else will be more. Inner midfielders target each other, so if an IM will target another IM, he'll lose only 50% of his skill. You can choose man marking as an individual order or your player in the match uh, order bit before the game and you can see how it's done here in this picture. In this example, I just want to show you the, uh, the fact that man marking is started only from the fifth minute and we can see the uh, powerful center defender targeting this inner midfielder and after five minutes he loses some uh, skill contribution dropping from 10, point, uh, 10 stars to 4 while the inner midfielder uh, dropping from 10 stars to 4.5 and, and the uh, midfield uh, drop was enormous. The home team lost 2.25 points in midfield in this particular um, example. That's a lot. So, pros and cons about man marking. The pros, obviously, you can target your opponent's star players. It allows you to significantly lower your opponent's midfield or attack and definitely kill their technical defensive forward or just other technical players like uh, midfielders. Still, it's an unfamiliar strategy. You can use it to your advantage, advantage because not a lot of managers know it or use it properly. The cons being, you are sacrificing a player, you are losing some defensive or midfield ratings as well. If man marking is not applied, you'll still lose some contribution and generally it lowers ratings and head stacks and we love statistics and high ratings, so it's a little bit of a bummer. Some tips to man mark properly. Have more defense on your man marker than the highest skills of his target. That's very important. Try to man mark in the right sector. You lose less contribution on your player. Use powerful players to man mark better or as speckless players before your man marking with someone else. Try to target technical players first. They will suffer more and unpredictable less. You can have a specific man marker in your squad with high defensive ratings and his being, him being a powerful player. Uh, 
just to use him properly for man marking. Remember that changing an individual order or your on your man marker in the match order before the game starts. If you set him as a man marker and then um, change it to him playing offensively or defensively or toward winger or whatever, it will can will cancel the man mark order. Use high stamina players uh, to man mark better, and for field, mid, uh, midfield battles, man mark his best uh, inner midfielder with a center defender or a wing back in defensive formation. Just man mark his best attacking contribution, uh, TDF, or just a normal forward. And one point that I really like is. Uh, what to do against teams who using only one, one strong uh, attacking side. Sometimes it's counter-attack uh, teams who is using only one attacking side. Just man mark their best winger or their strong winger with the opposite wing back. He will not lose more uh, contribution and you will definitely could block his best attacking side. On the other hand, you can maybe block his forward winger with your center defender. It will destroy this strategy of teams only playing with one uh, strong attacking side. Tips to what to do when you are being man mark. Remember, they can only man mark one of your players. So using a wider squad help, they, they will not know who to man mark. Other than that, be unpredictable. If you think that they will man mark your TDF, don't field him. Play with someone else. If uh, you th if their man marking is unsuccessful, they will still lose contribution or will stuck with a mono skill player that uh, they are using to man mark, and he will not contribute to their formation. Uh, if they are uh, targeting your best midfielder, a uh, cool trick that you can do, just use him as an offensive central defender. He'll still contribute very much for the midfield and you will uh, field someone else in the midfield, you will win the midfield battle. And prepare. Check if they have a special player for man marking and check their match history. Are they trying or using this strategy? Are they man marking? That will definitely help. And last but not least, a really cool calculator created by a manager named Shadows. It allows you to calculate the penalty on the target player. You will need to add the defensive uh, skill of your player being the man marker and the estimation for the highest skill of the target player. You can check in the box if your man marker is powerful or speckless and on the other side if the target is uh, technical or unpredictable and voila, you will have the penalty on the target. In this particular example, we are using a 17 defense man marker on, let's say, a technical defensive forward, a very all-rounded one with 15 on all his skills, so his best uh, skill is 15. Our player is powerful, their player is technical, and voila, the target will lose almost 75% of his skill contribution in this game. You just destroyed him. Uh, I will leave uh, the link to the calculator in the description below. Hope you like this video and you can press like or subscribe for the channel. Other than that, hope you are enjoying it because Hattrick is more than a game, it's a community and I'll see you around.